are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we need to talk about South Carolina head coach Don Staley here in this video. Now, South Carolina is actually going to be playing Iowa and Caitlin Clark for the national uh, championship. Now, OutKick, they actually asked Don Staley about transgenders. And it seems like uh, Don Staley was caught a bit off guard. Now, Don Staley is supposed to be a, a Christian. She gave like all glory to God the other day. Good for her. But I guess, you know, she wasn't expecting this question from OutKick at the final four. Because I found her answer to be very, very interesting. Now, of course, she went along with the, uh, the left wing agenda because if she said anything else, man, the Wolts would have been attacking her. But guess what, guys? I don't believe what Don Staley was saying. Because to me, it looked like she was uncomfortable <laughs> answering that question. It was a bunch of, um, and then she actually took a drink. It took her a minute to give the answer. So Don Staley, I truly believe that she doesn't believe in this stuff. But she gave the uh, quote unquote politically uh, correct answer. And by the way, South Carolina undefeated. Guess who they actually practice against? They actually practice against men. And they get beat up all the time. This is according to Don Staley. They get beat up in practice all all the time. To the men. Why? Men are just bigger, stronger, faster. So let's get into this, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Check this out. Don Staley says transgender women, men, should be allowed to play women's sports. But in my opinion, she does not believe this. She gave the woke answer so the mob does not come after her. Says here, the South Carolina women's uh, team defeated NC State on Friday night in the Final Four to advance to the national championship. The team, coached by Don Staley, is currently undefeated. Staley addressed the media on Saturday morning prior to the Sunday's prior to Sunday's uh, championship uh, matchup against Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes. The game figures to be one of the highest rated women's college basketball games of all time. Guys, I believe the projections for the viewership is something like 17 million for this game. I mean, if that actually happens, I believe that will by far be the most uh, watched uh, women's basketball game of all time. That's actually going to beat the NBA by a mile. But anyway, I digress. Uh, because of the increased spotlight on women's sports this weekend, Outkit took the opportunity to ask Staley about a very important issue facing facing uh, women's sports. The decision on whether or not to include transgender women, biological males in the game. So let's go ahead and um and watch this uh, clip here of Don Staley being asked this by Outkick. Let's roll it. Dan yeah. Zekcheski, Outkick coach, you just talked about, you know, what a massive weekend this is, obviously, for women's basketball, women's sports in general. One of the major issues facing women's sports right now is the debate discussion topic about the inclusion of transgender athletes, biological males in women's sports. I was wondering if you would tell me your position on that issue. Um, yeah, she need a drink. Damn, you got deep on me, didn't you? I, I, I'm on the, I mean, I'm on the, the opinion of, of. She's stumbling. If you're a woman, you should play. If you consider yourself a woman or, and you want to play sports or, or vice versa, you should be able to play. That's, that's my opinion. You want me to go deeper? Do you, do you think 
uh, transgender women should be able to participate that, in that, That's your question you want basketball. me to ask. I mean, you want to ask, so I'll, I'll give you that. Yes. Yes. So now the barnstorm of people are going to flood my timeline and be a distraction to me on one of the biggest uh, days of, of, of our game. And I'm okay with that. I really am. Wow. Wow. So it took her like 30 seconds to even address that. Don Staley knows that if this actually happens in a women's basketball, they're going to get destroyed. So Don Staley is saying, basically saying like, um, well, they actually play an hour in the championship. All right. So if our had, let's say three transgenders men on the team, they would get demolished. It wouldn't even be close, man. It would not be even close. And Don Staley knows that because her team plays against men in practice all the time. And they get beat up all the time. See, Don Staley knows the truth, man. She definitely knows the truth, man. She gave the woke answer, but I think it's clear she does not believe what she just said. I don't believe she believes that whatsoever. I mean, that is crazy, man. <laughs> Look here. It says our kids on Riley Gaines, a champion for fairness in women's sports, shared our thoughts on Staley's comments. Quote, Don Staley knows perfectly well that men's basketball is a totally different sport than women's basketball. Gaines said that's obvious by the speed of the game, the size of the ball, the sheer amount of layups compared to dunks when a player gets a fast break. I wonder if Don Study also supports 18, 18U playing uh, with a 12U or heavyweights fighting the featherweights or Olympians competing in the um, uh, Paralympics. It always sucks seeing a well-established woman who has broken barriers for women in sports turn into a sellout in the name of inclusion. <laughs> the women's category was created to be intentionally exclusive by design. Go hot. So she's cheering for our here. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let's see here. Our coach was that same thing. Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't know. That's not a video with this part right here. So I just got to read it. Um, it says our coach, uh, Lisa Blutter, faced the media a few hours later and was asked the same question, but didn't really provide an answer. Quote, my focus is on tomorrow's game. Blutter said she added that. It's an important issue, but an important issue for another time. OK, so she really just didn't want to answer the question. But I'm pretty sure that she knows that. These transgenders have no place. In women's sports, Don Staley definitely knows it, man. Just the hesitation tells you everything you need to know, know about this, guys. Everything you need to know about this. Don Staley was just terrified of the mob coming after her. So she chicken out. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.